You're walking home quite late at night. It's been raining, and now the air is fresh and damp. And that's when you see it. A rainbow! But it's nighttime. Is it even real? Well, it is, because it's a lunar rainbow, also known as a moonbow. Moonbows are as cool as they are rare. They occur when the light gets refracted through water droplets in the air, just like it happens when a normal rainbow forms. But the source of light, in this case, is different. I'm sure you've already guessed that it's the moon, or rather, sunlight reflected off the moon. Since moonbows are produced at night, when there's much less light, they're a lot more difficult to spot. Often, a moonbow looks like a pale white ring. That's because the light is normally so faint that the cone color receptors in human eyes can't detect the hues. Also, experts claim that how bright the colors are depends on the size of water droplets in the air. The smaller they are, the less vivid the colors. If you want to witness a moonbow, opt for a night when the moon is at its fullest, for example, during a full moon phase. The moon also has to be low in the sky and not obscured by clouds. In the US, you can see moonbows next to waterfalls, including Niagara Falls, as well as Yosemite National Park and other places. But you can see mesmerizing natural phenomena not only at night after the rain. For example, look at these brinicles. They are hollow icicles, also known as underwater stalactites. They form when cold salt water freezes in the right conditions. Then, brinicles can reach the ocean floor and start pulling there. They can even freeze some slow-moving underwater inhabitants, like starfish. This next phenomenon is even more dangerous than brinicles. Sinkholes occur when water that has turned acidic after coming into contact with plants or carbon dioxide erodes soft kinds of rock, like gypsum or limestone. This forms a deep underground cavern that can one day open anywhere, even under your house. One such sinkhole opened up in New York City. It pulled a parked van into the earth. It happened in the summer of 2022, and it wasn't the only sinkhole to appear in that area. Local inhabitants reported around 4,000 sinkholes all over the city. This kind of problem is also very common in Florida, and it's much more serious than it may sound. Sinkholes open all of a sudden, pulling down everything and everyone that happens to be nearby. Sinkholes appear all over the world, which makes them a global problem. They're totally unpredictable and form without warning. Another reason for their formation might be vast areas of groundwater. During droughts, this water dries up. This creates large, empty caverns. After heavy rains, the surface over such a cavern can collapse, creating a sinkhole within minutes. This phenomenon is way more beautiful and way less dangerous than sinkholes. Just look at this beach. Is it glowing? Your eyes aren't deceiving you. You can see this phenomenon all over the world. It's caused by phytoplankton in the water. It gives off light when the movements of waves and currents disturb it. This particular species of phytoplankton glows blue, turning the ocean into a gigantic lava lamp. At the same time, if you saw it during the day, you'd probably feel disgusted because the thick visible layer of the plankton near the surface of the water doesn't look, well, nice. Water spouts are also known as sea tornadoes. They occur over warm ocean waters. Water spouts look like funnel-shaped clouds reaching down from the stormy skies. Most of them don't pull in water. They're rather weak rotating columns of air hovering above the surface of the water. Some water spouts begin as dry land tornadoes. Then they travel toward a body of water and turn into severe thunderstorms with hail, high winds, and lightning. During the summer, in forests all over the world, you might see a faint eerie glow called foxfire. It might look mystical and a bit scary, but the nature of this glow is very simple. It's produced by bioluminescent mushrooms growing on moist, rotting bark. You can find lots of these mushrooms in the tropics, where damp forests encourage their growth. 
To increase your chances of seeing some of those magical fungi, hunt them in the forest during the wettest season. Plus, move as far away from artificial light sources as possible. Otherwise, you won't be able to spot this faint glow. And if you find one, nope, don't do that. They're not that kind of mushroom. Hey, ever heard of a fire rainbow? Yeah, me neither. How about a circumhorizontal arc? Didn't think so, but just so you know, they're one and the same thing. At first glance, it looks like a painting, or like a rainbow-colored splash in the sky. Despite the name, they have nothing in common with either fire or rain. This phenomenon happens on rare occasions when the sun shines through a particular type of ice cloud formation. The rainbow halos are just as unique. Again, a specific type of ice crystals and clouds needs to be present for the surface of the Earth to bend light from the sun into a perfect ring. The same thing can happen with moonlight. The only difference will be that moon halos are usually white, and sun halos can be rainbow-colored. When visiting regions with high altitudes, you may be one of the lucky people to stumble upon penitentes. They're basically naturally formed ice spikes. For them to be formed, they need a really cold and elevated environment where the air is dry. The sunlight turns ice directly into vapor rather than melting it into water. And that's why these blades of snow and ice start to pop up on the surface of the Earth. As cute as they may be, they can end up as tall as 15 feet. Now, what happens when small individual droplets of lava meet the wind? Pele's hair, basically. Let me explain. The word Pele comes from an ancient Hawaiian symbol for volcanoes. Whenever the wind picks up little drops of lava, it stretches them into hair-like strands, similar to the process of glass wire creation. These delicate strands can stretch as far as 6 feet. On rare occasions, it can rain without any clouds. But does it really? Let's look at the science behind this rare phenomenon. It's sometimes called a sun shower, just because it looks like the rain is falling straight from the sun. Let's be clear though, there is no way rain can ever come down directly from a star. Rain clouds are at a bit of a distance from that specific location. With sun rays being angled, the clouds become out of sight. Add a little wind to blow the rain in your direction, and ta-da! You get sun showers. Located in Bolivia is a place called Salar de Uni. It's the largest salt flat in the world. It's also the home of half of the world's lithium, which is a crucial component for making batteries. But what else is so special about this place? Well, whenever the rain season comes, it turns this piece of flat land into a perfectly reflective mirror lake. What comes to your mind when you hear about the Blood Falls? A horror movie? <laughs> well, they are merely a series of waterfalls located in one of the driest regions of Antarctica. They emerge from an underground lake filled with a special kind of bacteria. These little organisms use sulfates as fuel instead of sugars, which makes them very intriguing for scientists. The water contained in this lake is so full of iron that it basically just rusts when it meets the air. Hence, the reddish color of the waterfall, which also gives it its trademark name. Okay, we all know the song, but it's not really made up. There is actually such a thing called a desert rose. It's not a plant, though, but a unique form of the mineral gypsum. It develops in dry sandy places that can occasionally flood. This constant switching between a wet and dry environment lets the gypsum crystals emerge between grains of sand, trapping them and forming a rose-like shape. Ever heard of the Eye of Sahara? Scientists are still trying to figure out how it was formed. You can only see it if you fly above it, but it's basically a naturally formed dome that dates back to approximately 100 million years ago. And no, I wasn't around then. It has a rough diameter of 25 miles and consists of a bunch of concentric rings. The biggest one, or the central area, measures about 19 miles in diameter. Astronauts were some of the first people to notice it, and it's been studied ever since. In fact, even to this day, when landing in Florida, they know they're almost home when they see the Eye of Sahara. One of the most beautifully colored trees in the world is located in the Philippines and Indonesia. It's called the rainbow eucalyptus. 
It got its name because of its bark that switches colors and peels away as the tree ages. The bright green bark is the youngest, as it contains a substance called chlorophyll, usually found in leaves. It then switches to purple and then to the color red. And finally, it turns brown as it grows and loses the chlorophyll. Now, don't be tricked into thinking that's a whole forest. It's one single tree. And no, it's not some sort of optical illusion either. Let me explain. Underneath that soil, there is a complex network of roots that connects around 47,000 tree-like shapes you see above the ground. It's called the quaking aspen. Some of these trees are among the oldest and largest organisms in the world. Now, here's a good destination for all travelers, or maybe not so good after all. The most lightning-stricken area in the world, according to recent data released by NASA, is Lake Maracaibo in Venezuela. Out of all the days in a year, 300 of them feature thunderstorms in this location. What makes this area so unique, though, that storms happen so often? Well, it's because where cool mountain air meets the warm, moist breeze and generates electricity over the lake. This glacier may look like someone dropped tons of red paint in the middle of Antarctica, but it's actually the natural color. Blood Falls is a result of extreme salted water mixed with iron oxide, giving out this eerie vibe in the middle of nowhere. In early May 2018, New England observed one of the scariest and most dangerous phenomena ever a super long track tornado. The frightening natural phenomenon started not far from Charleston, New Hampshire, and traveled toward the town of Webster in Merrimack County. It took the tornado 33 minutes to cover 36 miles and become the third on the list of the longest track tornadoes in New England. In the Philippines, you can swim in some of the most crystal clear waters and discover an underwater world below you in the province of Palawan. The municipality of Coron has white sandy beaches with many small boats riding through the many amazing sceneries. Tristan da Cunha is a small volcanic archipelago in the Atlantic, with the only neighboring cities of Buenos Aires, Argentina, and Cape Town, South Africa. It takes seven days by ship to get to this unique place. If you want to escape from the rest of the world, staying with the 280 locals will make you feel like you're away from everything. During the first week of January 2018, unusually cold weather in the northeast United States froze the Atlantic Ocean in North Falmouth, Massachusetts. What's more, the ocean was frozen so thoroughly that people were walking on the waves. Now, that's obviously something you don't see every day. Red sand is what makes this beach unique and why tourists flock to Tianjin, China. A red-colored plant called a sueda salsa dwells in the saltwater. The whole beach is covered in red, with only the top layer of the sea visible. If there ever was a thing that said, I defy gravity, out loud, it's the Stone of Davasco in Argentina. The huge 300-ton boulder stands precariously on the edge of a cliff and rocks a little bit from side to side in the wind. People even checked it by putting glass bottles under one of its edges. They exploded with another movement of the rock. Unfortunately today, you can't see this wonder of nature as it was a century ago. In 1912, the boulder suddenly dropped from its perch, which it had occupied for literally hundreds of years. The people of the nearby town of Tandil were so sad about this event that 95 years later, in 2007, they decided to restore the stone. They made a plastic replica of the rock and put it on the same spot and even in the same position. So even today, coming by Tandil, you can see its famous balancing boulder. More of a symbol now, of course, because it's no longer rocking and only weighs 9 tons, but instantly recognizable nonetheless. Socotra is an alien-like island off the coast of Yemen in the Indian Ocean with one of the most unique trees ever seen. It's called the dragon tree, and it can only be found on this amazing island. In 2008, it was labeled as a World Heritage Site. If you ever see a tight-burning column of air, don't panic, it's not the end of the world. The creepy combination of whirlwind sounds and scorching inferno means that you have crossed paths with a fire tornado, also known as fire twister or fire whirl. This dangerous phenomenon occurs mostly during wildfires. These fires create a big area of super-hot air just above the ground. 
When this scorching air gets mixed with the cooler air higher up, it results in a whirlwind that churns up burning debris and flames. The most powerful fire nados can stretch hundreds of feet into the air. The House of Mystery in Gold Hill, Oregon, amazes its visitors with gravity-defying effects. You can't stand straight there, always leaning to the side and having to hold on to something for balance. Balls roll upwards. There's also a broom that stands perfectly still wherever you put it, unlike virtually everything else in the shack. The local Native American tribes called this place the Forbidden Ground, even before the house was built there, and they avoid approaching it. The owners of the shack, though, decided to turn it into an attraction, and they succeeded. They created an atmosphere of mystery around the place, and spread the news about it in newspapers and later on the internet, and voila! A perfect anomaly is made. In fact, it's no more than a curiosity. A human-made optical illusion that tricks your eyes and other senses. Now, if you travel to the Philippines, Indonesia, or Papua New Guinea, you'll have a chance to see some of the most unusual and cheerful trees in the world. The trunk of the rainbow eucalyptus looks as if it had been painted orange, green, red, purple, yellow, brown, blue, hey, you name it. Some trees are so bright that they seem artificial. The rainbow eucalyptus regularly sheds strips of bark, which reveals a bright green layer underneath. A bit later, this green layer gradually changes its color. And since the shedding happens at a different time in different places on the trunk, the tree starts to look multicolored and very attractive. Yemen is home to the oldest skyscrapers in the world and the oldest metropolis. The ancient city of Shabam is considered to be the Manhattan of the desert due to the collection of mud buildings popping out of the desert floor. It used to be a caravan stop during ancient times. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.